Hey y'all, so really quickly, I'm going to assemble a bowl that was really similar to what Chloe Ting was making. I have some pre-made chicken that, I, that we barbecued a few days ago. So it's not exactly the same and it's not gonna be the same recipe, but I'm gonna try to include the essentials. I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you put like broccoli and a little bit of water and put a lid over it, you can actually steam your broccoli in the microwave. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Here we have my rice that I accidentally put a little bit of raw broccoli on. Then I'm just gonna add my chicken. Shoot, this is not the greatest video. And then add broccoli that has been now steamed so this is my makeshift protein bowl that she was making and then some dark soy sauce Ooh, that was a little bit too much but that was just for the broccoli because it really doesn't have any taste i'm going to try this and i'm sorry i just don't use knives when i eat i just go for it I made my own dipping sauce over here with some soy sauce and spicy sauce. It's gonna be delicious, I know. So it looks like today we're doing an intense full body fat burn, which is a little different. Um, I think I remember this from the last time I did the two week shred. And this one was pretty intense and it was 21 minutes long. And then we have two other ab ones. Um, yeah, I may replace the shredded abs because I remember that one wasn't that tough for me. Um, I might replace that with Pamela Rife's video. But I will probably be doing the lower abs burn because I remember that one was pretty tough. So yeah. <sighs> I haven't brought myself to stand up yet, but 21 minutes, let's go. Hey everyone, I just finished my lookbook shoot. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. It should be going up today. Anyways, for breakfast, I'm not having the healthiest of things. Bagels and cream cheese, but damn, whenever my dad gets this, I have to eat it. Like, it's a disgrace not to eat these carbs. So good, like, I can't stop. Update should be going up tomorrow. And then we have a rest day, so I should have a video for that too. And then throughout like the last few days of the challenge, I'm going to be trying to do videos maybe every day, maybe every other day. Um, we're gonna see how it goes, but look forward to that and peace. Bye. I'm gonna enjoy my bagel. Bye. Well, shit. So I just came back from working out with my sister and her boyfriend and we were doing a lot of circuit and weight training. Um, I haven't done this in a long time, like squats with the, the squat thing. I don't even know what it's called anymore. But anyways, I was doing that and a lot of like barbell shit and lunges and things like that. But I realized I still have to do Chloe Ting and Tomorrow is my rest day, not today. So your girl's gonna have to get it together because she's not a quitter. I'm gonna do full 15 day, okay? No slacking off. So I'm just gonna go stretch out for a bit. And yeah, hopefully my legs don't die. Um, it looks like today is not as much like cardio and legs, but more of like strength training, abs and full body, things like that. So hopefully, I will work my different parts of my body so I don't die. Peace out, stay tuned, bye. Hello everyone, so I just wanted to pop in here and tell you that 
I did not finish all the exercises yesterday, but since today's a rest day, I will definitely finish them. I did a glute workout after I finished dinner because when I came home, it was like dinner time and I felt a little bit like throwing up. So yeah, I wasn't gonna push myself over the edge, but today's a new day. I will definitely do those two exercises that I have left um, and also maybe something else depends on how my legs feel but let me tell you after weight training yesterday my legs are so sore they're so sore like i've never been actually i have been this sore in my life um every time i do weights it's kind of like that especially when i don't do weights for a really really long time and then all of a sudden i'm back on squatting like a lot of weight so it is no surprise that I am dead today, but I'm still gonna put out this video, hopefully. And yeah, okay, bye. Okay. This is some banana. Yum. She is making me oatmeal banana cookies, which are somewhat healthy, but they're very yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Some vanilla. This is a. Uh, a plus recipe. It uses banana as sweetener instead of a lot of sugar. It still has some sugar, but it just tastes really good. I, mean, I always use a super ripe banana because then you don't have to use as much sugar. Mm -hmm. I use about a third of the sugar in the recipe. Mm -hmm. And it exchanges some of the flour that you would usually use for some oats, which makes it a little bit more healthy. Yes. You wanna get the oats for me? Oh, do we have oats? Two cups, that's eight of these. That's eight. a lot of math. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to keep track of how many times I put this spoon in. One. Two. Three. It's basically like eating your oatmeal, but in cookie form. Yum, 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 with banana. Like the brown and sugar. Um. What's that called? Cinnamon. Everything you would find in your oatmeal, but in the cookie, which makes it taste 20 times better. Cause you bake it. Does not taste good here. I would guarantee you it does not taste good. It's not bad. Really? And There's no sugar in there, huh? Uh, no, there is um, one third cup. Oh. Brown sugar? I use half half. Oh, it tastes good. No. I also added less oil just to try it, but we'll see. Little balls of poop. Little balls of plums everywhere. I, know. I honestly thought I was kind of plateauing because I recently had my lady time of the month and it was a lot. I ended up eating bad things at night like ice cream and cookies to satisfy my cravings because they're very deep cravings and I really needed to satisfy them. <laughs> well anyways, I thought that would have really hindered my progress. I don't think it helped it, but like I don't think it stopped it that much. I was still working out a lot and in general I try to eat well during the day, but when it comes to the nighttime, I'm after my time, I get a little blip bloated and the past few days I've been really bloated so they're not very fun but in order to combat that and try to get back on track i'm going to try something that i saw on taylor wood's video this is her most popular video it's drinking a gallon of water a day so i'm really really gonna try this because i feel like i have been dehydrated for the past few days um and instead just fueling my body with food instead of just like drinking water i'm gonna meet you so peace but I'm going to see how that goes. I heard it's like life changing and also my skin's not doing too hot. So it'll be nice to change that a little bit. I'm not saying it will change, but it might help it. Hey, hey. Bye. -bye. I actually love these new shorts. They're such a vibe. <laughs>